Crush What's been the best show us. so far? Denver is pretty sweet. Denver is pretty sweet, yeah. Denver is San Francisco. Cool. Seattle was really good. Seattle was good. Salt Lake City was good, too. was really good. Yeah. Everywhere. I mean, really cool. That's part of why it's been so good is that they've all been. Everything. Like, like, the odds in looked really felt, cool. It, yeah. it's not that was awesome. It's not felt big uh, you know, in terms of playing big rooms as a headliner for the first time. Yeah. Playing this size rooms as a headliner for the first time and having them fill up and be good shows. Okay. But also the smaller shows, just musically, everyone's just been really locked in. Yeah. Playing together. Yeah, playing well. Yeah. I, I think everyone's just taking it very seriously, which is fantastic. Good. Um, okay, I was going to ask you, logistically, it's hard to tour with this many people. Have you ever left anyone behind somewhere? Yes. Chris <laughs> Browers in Priest Lake, Idaho, after the 4th of July. Right. right. <laughs> That's then, like a few miles, though. Okay, yeah. you so remember. Enough, he was definitely like, there's no reception out here. Right, yeah, yeah, there was no reception. <laughs> <laughs> well, and he was he's going to have to take a boat back or something? Yeah, he almost had to take a boat it back. It was on a lake, no. and we just weren't used to him. He's He's usually like the first... You know, he's pretty efficient, so we just didn't think, think it was possible it. that he wasn't there. Okay. It was our extreme faith in him that <laughs> led us to abandon him. <laughs> um, you guys filmed a music video in Brooklyn in July. Was that your first music video? No. 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 It was fourth. Fourth? I no, but it was that, our but... most intense shoot that we've done in yeah. terms of it feeling like a truly real music video shoot. Okay. A lot of people involved, a lot of extras, really cool location. There was coffee. Yeah, it has that. That hasn't <laughs> been released yet, right? The crew style. It is yeah. coming out very, very soon, coffee but it's not. And is it that like with an EP release or is it a single? Or? It's gonna be the first of a few singles that will lead to an eventual album release next year. Okay, cool. Um, are you guys writing any new music right now? Yeah. Yeah. We're always yeah. trying. Yeah. Just, On the road, you can do it. I mean, things come up and just little, like maybe something to sound check or that just, you know. Uh, we're, we, and we have a mobile. A few of us have a mobile, mobile setup rigs. for writing and stuff. Okay. We catch oh, a good groove during sound check. We always pull out a phone and, and catch it. Do it. You know, what is your guys' writing things. process like? Do you all sit down and write songs together, or? It varies a bit, but usually some there'll be like a groove first that's either generated by one or a few people, um, and then like I'll usually take that and write over it. But then it comes into rehearsal, which is another collaborative process of people making parts and adding to it and. And it, on this last album, more and more people have been writing uh, lyrics okay. and melodies and stuff, which is cool. I think. I'd say that this new album is probably going to be our most collaborative. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, are there any venues you guys are dying to play that you haven't played yet? Yeah. Madison like Square what? Garden. <laughs> Madison Square Garden. Okay. The Gorge. Gorge. The Gorge. Uh, anywhere in Anywhere Europe. not in the U.S. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Well, it would just be cool to get yeah. outside the country eventually. We haven't done that yet, which okay. we're having I'd really like to do one of the big be. British festival, Glastonbury, something like yeah. that. Okay, that's really cool. That's cool. One of those like jazz festivals over in Europe, like yeah, Italian jazz festivals. Are yeah, I feel like in Italian, the states we French and Italian jazz festivals. Within the last year in the states, other than the Gorge and like gar- the Garden and like whatever arenas, but as far as like classic American venues, we really got to really? check off a bunch of the ones that I, you know, between the Fillmore and Red, Red Rocks. Rocks. Those are the two venues that for me yeah, are always at the top Theater. of my list. Georgia Theater. Cool. Carnegie Hall would be tight. I want to see you guys at the Apollo. Okay, that, that would be. Apollo. It's been discussed yes. before. That's oh, definitely really? possible. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I can just end on this question. Um, it's been a pretty rough week. Do you guys have a positive message you want to send out? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, I think mostly that even when people do really cowardly things like that, and it's especially sad to see it in a musical setting, you have to remember the point of music is to bring us together and to see the best potential. Um, in everything and to not let that sort of you know drag you down and keep loving life keep loving live music and you know have faith that um you know things will get better okay. people coming together to experience music both with friends and with people they've never met before is like one of the most basic human things from like our oldest history so if these type of shootings continue to happen i think it's so important that we all recognize that our ability to get together as, you know, both friends and strangers and enjoy something like music is not something that can be taken away, so we have to do whatever we can to make sure that that okay. remains something that we do as a culture. Okay, cool. All right. Won't back down. 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 <laughs> All right. We're good. <laughs>